2024 and this is going to be something a bit different this is going to be a two-part video because the 60 building pack or yeah 60 building pack has been dropped by black sheep modding that is a plethora of buildings 60 buildings and to get all that set up now as i've tried over here that's going to take forever to set up in that so what i'm going to do is try to keep this video concise so what I'm going to do is do the first part of all the other mods and updates in this video. And in the next video, which will be dropping at the same time, will be the cow buildings one. Well, not the cow buildings, the 60 building pack one. So yeah, as always, time starts will be down below. But before we get into our new mods for today, let's look at some of the updates that has dropped today. Starting off with our map updates, we got the update to Oberkirchheim, this is by Velort, Changelog 1.3, Field Grass, Soy Drink and Grass Spells can now be sold, and no, no new game save is required. And for our final map update, we got Somewhere in Lower Bavaria by Paco, this was updated yesterday but it's had a hot fix, and this is Changelog 1.0.0.2. Delete tipper collisions on some fields, grass and straw is okay now in the fields. Just a quick couple of updates I'm going to go over. I'm not going to show them off in the game itself, but there's going to be a couple of mods I think are worth mentioning. First of all is the John Deere Green System Trailer Pack by JD Modern Arc. And change up 1.5 is the locking system. It's now compatible with all the base game headers and that, so your new Hollands, Case, Fent Massey's Power Flow stuff and that. The Capellos, the John Deere HD headers and that. And yeah, this goes along with the other compatible mods. For example, the locking system is compatible with some of the other mods by Agritono, J8 HD modding, custom modding, Farm Central Soul. On top of that, there has been a variety of color selections released, including for the tires, new normal textures, and new decals. Another one is a bunch of mods by Razot G Play. So you got his cow barn, his white cow barn, his whole barn, and building farm sheds. And all of these have been updated to support the manure system. And lastly, we've got the Big Bud Series 1, Change Shock 1.0.0.1. Very quick update this was, as an improvement to the AI workers along with the bug fixes. And now we're going to be looking at all of the new mods for today. First of all, we got the Milk Wagon, this is by Caster. 7.64 megabytes download. Slot count is 3 and 4 slots respectively. And yeah, this is a, basically it's a milk truck and a milk wagon. So, you hop into the milk wagon here, or milk truck. There we go. So yeah, the milk wagon, the 170 liter one. This is 3 slots for console, and yeah. It's a, yeah, just drive around, no collecting milk and that, delivering milk and that to the locals. And also, you do have a wagon, this is the milk truck. You have a milk wagon, 340 litres. And this is for, like, quads and small tractors, or, like, you know, your off-roaders and that. But, regardless, you'll find these under tools, under animals. And there we go, so you got your milk wagon, or milk truck. That is, yeah, three slots on console, goes down to one. 1,500 to purchase. And yeah, it weighs 66 six kilograms. And you can travel up to six miles an hour, and you can fill this up with milk or water. No configurations or options. And moving on to the wagon, you do have some color options for the rims. Size from that, 340 litres, 172 kilograms, and that is two slots goes down to one. So, yeah, overall, looking at it closely, in that it's actually some nice little bit of the detail, and I do love like the valves in that area, but yeah, overall, it's a very simple, has could be used on a bit of role playing or very small maps, and that or small day operations. But yeah, that is the Milk Wagon by Caster. Next. Now for the Lizard Self Made Barrel. This is by by Ali. 12.1 megabytes to download. And what essentially is a War Bowser 
and a liquid manure bowser that can do surrey or digestate. And first of all, you'll find these under animals. You'll find the water one here, so self made barrel for water, 1700. Both of these has a 1000 capacity and weighs 346 kilograms. Make our options you've got black, versions of greens, reds, and blues. So you can have this bit of a modern form or a bit of an old school fashion form. Room colors you've got the same options along with silver and silver too. So, yeah, something like that. And for your Surrey one, so you've got under Surrey tanks, go towards the end, and you get 20 horsepower, 1000 litres. 346 kilograms and a working width of 4 meters. Options are exactly the same. So, yeah, it says it's, a, it's got a case working width in that. So, let's go and have a little test here, shall we? So, alright, so. So that is what we're working at. But yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to... Now that's the engine. But yeah, let me try to swap something out a sec. Maybe something with a P2 shaft in that. There we go. Now we see the turn on Surrey tank. So you can actually use this to spread Surrey on your fields if you wish. Yeah, turn the lights on and you can see the texture differences there. But yeah, at a thousand year capacity, you're going to run out very quickly. Like, we've barely done a full strip here and we are almost empty. So yeah, for something like this, I'll perhaps say it's more for like small allotment areas or like very small fields and that. But again, you do small scale farming with hand tools and that and other bits. But yeah, that thousand years that's to does. Just did we start from the beginning? No, we didn't. So yeah, it's not the hugest of capacities, but at the end of it, what you can do is you know maybe get some extensions on the front and that, that gives you extra capacity in that. Or or just yeah. Simply use it for small scale farming or to transport and sell your items. Don't have to. But yeah, like, look at these like IBCs here. Yep, got the little valves there where it comes out, like, the distributor. Yep, sim to warn that. And actually, one thing I want to have a little gander at is. The little valve on the back, does that change in that when you go on and off? So, we'll fill up. So, go up close. Oh, that is nice. Oh, yeah, there's no lights or anything on it. But, yeah, that idea of that little valve just going boop, let it flow close. That I do like indeed. So yeah, that is the self-made barrel by Bailey. Next, moving on to the weighty section of this mod review, we've got the little weight. This is by SLM and TWT Maurice 3001, 2.18 megabytes of download, two slots for console, and what this is is a one and a half or 1,500 kilogram weight cost 1,500 to purchase so yeah you can find it here no color options or anything like that there's no attachers for a trailer net at the end of the day it's a very simple trailer net not trailer very simple weight but yeah overall nice little quality of detail on that and that is the lizard weight by Maurice 3001 next in our next category, we got the self-made weight. This is by Agrimodding. 0.87 megabytes of download. One slot for a console. And yeah, you'll find this under tools and weights. 
And yeah, we got self made weight here. And unlike with the last weight we looked at, you do have some color options, including some custom options. So you've got custom gray black, custom gray, custom black, and a custom brinker option. Then along with that you got your base game options. But yeah, one slot and with something like this it does have a quite a bit of a wide berth in that, so you can use this as I've done with setting up this mod review to push stuff in that. It could be bells, it could be pallets, or even other pieces of equipment. 250 kilograms, 1,300 to purchase. So yeah, that is the self-made weight by Agro Modding. Next. Moving on to the upper class of our weight sections. This is the weight bumper. This is by Nico Pix. 2.17 megabytes to download. Two slots on console each. And yeah, basically what I say each is one weight in that, but you got a sub translation option, so weight bumper, 800 to purchase, weighs 1.2 tons. As I mentioned, two slots goes down to one. And yeah, so for design, this is gonna be the writing, so you've got the convoy agricole, that is French, or for the US oversized load, or basically English in that. Beacons, no or yes, so that's going to be those on the front. And that is it. In terms of your main colour, you do got a custom green. Then, along with your basic colour palettes. Actually, is that the same colour? That may be the same as John Deere Green. Yeah, John Deere Green there. I think that is pretty much John Deere Green, that is the exact, again, there may be some very minor iterations in that. But yeah, even when you compare it to some of these other colours in that, you can tell the difference. Sure, I'm not even wise to notice in these. Yeah, all very close to that, but overall it's not too bad in that. Bit of a larger weight in that. Not heavy in that such, weighs 1.2 tons as I mentioned. But yeah, that is the weight bumper by Nico Pix. That is all of our weights for today. Now on to our other mods. And that being the Water Amp 4, this is by Perla 196 PQXR. 3.75 megabytes to download. And essentially, what this is, it's a Basically a water fill point, three slots on console. And yeah, first of all, we'll find this under building, under tools. And yeah, even though it says on the mod hub it's a cell point, in game it is under containers. And yeah, mentioned three slots goes down to one. And yeah, that's a little demonstration of the fill up, so get our new horn here. Yeah, basically it's a old clay amphora and that. It's got that rustic style feel vibe in that, so if you're running a bit of an old school farm, this will be for you and the fill rate may not be the fastest in that. About a I say about a thousand years every three seconds or so. Two to three seconds an hour say, give or take. But overall, it does look actually quite nice and I do love the clay texture in that. And that is the Water Amphora by Perla 196PQXR. Next. Sticking with the more older vibe, we got the Pack Plate BR. This is by Noi Moi Mod. 2.6 megabytes to download and this is a pack of 16 items which are pure decorative. And yeah, it's all basically like Brazilian, South Af not South Africa, South American vibes and that, so yeah, for example, go from left to right, got your attention at something, something, 100 metres ahead, your service station, 500 metres ahead or half kilometre, entrance, something to do with entrance, attention, pedestrians, got your speed limits there, speed bumps, stop sign, more speed bumps, no left turn. Another speed limit. It's sort of a childish shape made sign for a farm. Be aware of petitions or petition crossing. Respecting, I guess now it's respecting of the limits of vehicles. 
a vendor sign and that, a call number and that. Something prohibited to do calls, I'm guessing that's fishing. And something also is a prohibited car, car car. I'm guessing that's cars and that, but again, I could be wrong. I don't know Spanish, or is it Spanish or Portuguese? I always forget I do. I'm not sure I've upset a lot of people there, but <laughs> anyways. You'll find this under decorations and others. And yeah, so all these are one slot on console each. No, sorry, two slots. Two slots goes down to one. And yeah, 16 different signs in that. And yeah, overall, these are very good level of details. Good decorations if you're on a Brazilian map, a South American map in that. But yeah, that is the Pack Plate BR by Moimog mod. Next. Moving on to our buildings, this is the Bell Storage by Perla 196 PQXR. 5.92 megabytes of download. And yeah, this is a Bell Storage, Bell and Pad Storage. Can hold up to 200 items. Four slots on console. Costs 2000 to purchase, and there is no daily upkeep. And you find this under buildings, under silos. And there we go, you get 2500 to purchase, so a very cheap bell and pad storage. Do love the brick and more texture on that, I will admit. Has that little glint in effect as well, in the light in that. May put some people off, but yeah, so this is our bell and pad section over here. All nicely stacked up. And yet you cannot enter these. But at least you didn't have those like weird X marks and that. And to the right, got a little an extra space here to storage further pads and that manually, or it could be equipment, loaders, or whatever you wish. So if we have a look just to the left of here. We've got 192 bells. I don't see does any of these make a difference in the end. So yeah, you've got a variety of bells. You can put pallets in here if you wish now, but I just go with bells. So there we go. Oh yeah, just slightly readjust this, but now that's at maximum capacity. And yeah, so your fill trigger is here. And now let's get some bells out, so I shall gonna be fair. I will move this out of the way. Like so. And see how many will spawn at once. Uh are we spawning these bells? Ah no no, no my bad. They're spawning I was like where are they spawning to? They spawn on this side. But yeah, so overall not too bad. Actually, I do like that. I wonder, can you empty all of this at once? So, emptying pain that. Okay, not enough space in that, so that is, what? 84 bells you can spawn at once. And these are the large square bells in that, I will admit. I probably can get some more bells in that if it's a bit more in these stacks. But for just a outlet area, that is a large output area, to be honest, in that. Especially when compared to the inside input marker, which is very small in that. But yeah, overall, not too bad, good quality more in that. And that is the Bell Storage by Perla196 PQXR. Next. Now for the tractor hold, it's by TLS Modding, Eddie and Mui. 27.09 megabytes downloads, 24 slots on console. And yeah, essentially what this is, is a tractor horn at a shed store, your equipment and all that. So you find this under buildings, sheds, and at the end, 65 grand to purchase. Very long and do have a fair few number of bays. What's that? Three, six, a nine bay garage and that. Overall not too bad. And yeah, each section has their own little bit here and that. So yeah, I don't want that open. Can I open... I oh know, so it looks like it's just the... 
two bays and that. Oh no, we can't open the door and that, fair enough. And yeah, it does look like it has the lights and that. And light switch, I did have to trigger found, is just over here. So yeah, lights on and off. So yeah, you got your three bays. And I guaranteed these are going to be all exactly the same. I do like to look at it, that's sort of like wearing, wearing stuff of it. And it's one of those, again, as I mentioned on like cinema mods with these, it's sort of more of a Eastern European, like sort of a bygone error in a way in that. But yeah, that is the tractor haul by TLS Modern Eddie and Mui. Next. Now for the so solar collector, this is by FSPT. And essentially what this is, it's a generator of electricity in that. It is 25.28 megabytes of download. Slot count is 10 goes down to 1. And I gotta say, compared to the kind of other things we've been seeing in that, does look very realistic in that in a way. So like, again, like the textures in that are, at least to me, very real life like in that. But anyways, so you find this under productions and generators. Go towards the end. Ninety-three thousand thousand. Yeah, ninety-three and a half grand to purchase. Gets fourteen thousand a month. So in the course of a year. Yeah, you'll get your money back from this, as you tend to do with a lot of these generators and that. But yeah, so you've got your solar panels on the top, so... It's that kind of way of a old building that has been retrofitted and modernised for modern purposes and that. Bit of a blend of the old and the new, with the graffiti textures and that. May not look the most neatest and that, you know, the most posh and that. But again, for like a map and that, you know, get a bit of a city vibe and that, have a run down urban area maybe in that. Again, they may be looking more into it in that. Uh, risky do electric sh Guessing that is risk off electric shock. And that is, again, Spanish or Portuguese, something like that. But anyways, that is the Soul Collector by FSPT. Next. Now for our penultimate mod of this video, this is the Custom Stone Crusher, this is by BK Mods. It is 10.41 megabytes to download, 18 slots on console, and this is very similar to some of its other mods in that. So, for example, the custom fermenting side that I've used on a couple of my Let's Plays in that. Also, he's produced like the simple farm silo, the custom sawmill in that, and custom spinnery and a few other mods and that. So yeah, this is a awesome mod to buy an awesome mod on that. So essentially what this is, it's a stone crusher so you get line production. So yeah, let's go into here. So in terms of capacities it is 250,000 years for stones and for the water I think it's something on the lines of 100,000 years because in terms with its output and throughput, it does have a very high cycle rate. Output capacity is 200,000 years, and you can get that out in the course of just, I think it's one, no, two hours, so yeah, two hours, so yeah, 100,000 year capacity by the looks of it. Very fast to fill up in that, so yeah. 250, 100,000 years, 250,000 years in terms of the capacity, capacities. It's a 2 to 2 to 5 ratio, 480 cycles per month, and that means theoretically in the course of one month, you can get 2.4 million years of lime from 960,000 years of water and stone. Now, yet to warp part, get a million years in a month, not going to be as much of a problem a million years of stone unless you're buying it yeah that's gonna be very difficult even with a normal 2x or even a 4x map filled with large stones and that bit up see so yeah, your input is here clearly labeled i do like that and your output is this little spout so but also you can unload stone if you wish so yeah, fill it up with said light. 
actually one thing I didn't test is can you get the water out of this so have a little look so yeah got water on that lovely jubbly and yes you can get your water out so everything that you put in you can get out so if you've got a bit of excess in that or a bit of regret in that then yeah by all means you can get your items out these fill rate right off about two about a thousand years every two seconds or so. So yeah, overall, not too bad. And that is the Stone, sorry, Custom Stone Crusher by BK Mods. Next we're head to our final mod, and it is, um, yeah, this is the, uh, yeah, we'll get to that mod view now, and yeah, I'll discuss everything further at the shop. Now, we've got these. These are the hand tools. This is by DD Mod Passion, 0.94 megabytes download, zero source for console. As uh, these are essentially hand tools, and one thing I'll mention again, this is going to be a disclaimer in that. Regardless of all the issues between DD Mod Passion and Caster 18, this mod review will be fair, good, and unbiased, and not affected by any of those decisions. So, decisions or choices made by either modders and that. So, just a little quick disclaimer out of the way. So yeah, essentially what this is, is a section of hand tools and that. Including chainsaws, ignore the machete, that's from yesterday's mods and that. So yeah, first of all, we go under tools, add miscellaneous. So yeah, you got your four jet washers and that. Similar base, so yeah, similar to the base game. These are your coarser jet washers and that, and you got a short and normal spout. And this can be mounted to the left hand or the right hand. And then following from that, you got your chainsaw, so very similar to the base game. Just with the options of the tools being in your left hand. In comparison to the right hand, I guess in this right hand, so if I go with you. So yeah, normally it's right handed, so Again, just some, yeah, I think really this would be more for like multiplayer for PC for part view and that, where you sort of view people and that, because yeah, obviously how I am in that. Let's start going into build mode. Yeah, you see my character there and that. But yeah, so, yeah, just a bit of a unique twist in that. But overall, I do like these, these do perform well in that, so. Let's head to a tree sec. So yeah, it performs exactly the same to the base game. It's just with the options for your left hand in that, so... There we go. Actually, we're going to want to test. Compare that to the base game. And then compare it to that. Okay, maybe because I was on the hill Nats, but yeah, I just want to see. Nope. Yeah, I just want to see the range in that in terms of these, so. So, yeah, just remind myself the mod ones are the left hand ones. Base game is right hand, so. There we go. Yeah, so. In terms of how it looks, maybe, yeah. You purchase it from, yeah, that side, so... Also, with the base game, you may be used to how you approach it, you know, like that. And even if we flip on that side, you get that. But yeah, the skin is designed for myself on the left-handed, so when I come to use chainsaws and that, this is how I would hold in that a chainsaw roughly in that. Yeah, they all seems to be cutting at the same rate as base game that. Timber! But yeah, not only that, obviously got your hand tools and that for the jet washers and that. And what these are, again, as I mentioned, similar to the base game one, just a mobile version. So, go to our tools and that. So yeah, essentially what it is, it's a handheld version of this, so... 
Handheld, you get the Lone Spout on the right hand. You got that here with the hand tools, along with your left hand, and a little bit shorter spouts than that. So yeah, I think overall the difference is the distance and that, I think. Oh no, distance seem to be the same in that. This, yeah, same if not slightly further in that with the longer spout and that. But yeah, that is the hand tools by DD Mob Passion. And that's going to be it for the mods on, well, for this review of all these mods and that. Now I'm going to work on the mod review and that for the cows and that. And that be released at the same time and that. So, as always, hope you found this helpful and informative in some way, shape or form. If so, smash that button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you're not stay. But for now, this is me from Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all uh, very soon.